How are you, brother? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. How are you? So let's just take a closer look here and see what's going on. Ah. Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I am just gonna give you a quick little tree watch here because it's getting a little out of hand. Of course, this is tree number one. Doesn't have ornaments on it yet. We're doing that later on tonight. Got the big real tree that just came in. Uh, this tree was over here. I I'm not even sure what's going on with this. We apparently have a tree in the middle of one of my living rooms. Uh, I think it's gonna go somewhere. I don't know where it's gonna go. We got a tree over there and guess what? Now Lori even added this tree over here. I'm not sure what's going on and I'm assuming it's not gonna stay there either. That pushes us up to six trees on the main level and then we got a tree upstairs and then there's a tree out front. So regardless, Lori is as crazy about Christmas as I am about animals. Let's go ahead and head over to the building. Remember the other day when I said like, how does a two-headed snake shed? Well, listen, that gives you the answer right there. It looks like we have a really nice shed and I'm looking here and sure enough, right by the head, it seems like it broke off. You can kind of see right here where that webbing definitely caught the shed and it didn't have a really good option of shedding out. Huh, that is really bizarre. So let's just take a closer look here and see what's going on. And sure enough, it looks like what happened is that Ben shed its head 100% but Jerry really didn't have an opportunity because that webbing caught it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just slowly peel this off the best I possibly can and see if we can't get Jerry kind of freed up here. It's really bizarre how it kind of broke right here. Ah. And it literally was just right by that webbing where it wouldn't come off. So we're just literally gonna peel that last little bit off right here. And there you go. It's all shed out. Well, there answers the question I was asking. How does a two-headed snake shed when it's got that webbing in between it? Well, apparently they don't do it very well. Again, I was thinking like it would have to somehow split it, but in this case, it really got stuck. But in the end, we were able to get the shed off. How freaking awesome is that? Ben and Jerry looks beautiful now. And speaking of shedding, it looks like Lucy did her normal, explode her shed all over her cage. Oh doggy, that is quite the mess. And it looks like she's got just a little bit of stuck shed on her too. And I just hate the fact, I mean, we do everything we can do to keep the humidity up in here. Got a big water base and we got all that type of stuff and still she seems to have a hard time shedding. So, but regardless, I think I'm gonna pull her out, get her into a soak, and then I'll clean this entire cage up. Oh, and by the way, you guys may have heard of pet tube. It happens to be like a group of YouTubers that have a lot of pets that really educate people about their care of their pets. Some of them have a handful of pets, some of them have like a hundred pets. It's an interesting community that again does a lot of educating people if they're interested in getting really cool exotic pets or even normal pets for that matter. I'm excited to say that a bunch of them are actually coming to visit the Reptarium today. So if you guys are into the pet tube thing, you're gonna get a chance to see them come and hang out with us and our animals here at the Reptarium. All right, Lucy, you in an okay mood today, girl? Hi, sweetheart. You look beautiful. Oh my gosh, you look so incredible, girl. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. Just gotta get her in a soap real quick. Get that last shed off of her. The good news is, is that Lucy loves water. So usually, that's not a hard thing to get her to go in the water, which is good. But you can see, she's just got some stuck shed on her here and there. No big deal. See if she'll go in here nice and good. There you go, sweetheart, there you are. She loves the water. Come on, sweetie, you stay in there. There you go, sweetheart. There you go, just stand there, sweetie. Oh, guys, that's a lot of snake. It just keeps on coming. But again, this is one of the nice things is that when you're putting Lucy in a thing without water, it's a pain, but she loves water, so usually it's pretty easy to kind of get her settled down. Once I get in here, I can clean the rest of her cage, get all the shit off here, I have to clean the water out and stuff like that. But uh, again, went completely smooth. She seems to be in a really good mood right after she sheds and she always loves water. So, all right, let's get this mess cleaned up. I'll let her soak for about a half an hour and then we'll get the rest of that shit up, get her back in her cage and get this day started.
cage is all clean, that's the way you do it. Just filling up Lucy's water with some clean water. Again, gonna let her soak for just a little while longer. Get that shed off and then we'll get her back in her cage. All right, so they have arrived. What's going on, man? How are you, brother? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, Brian. Hi. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Hi, how are you? I know all your faces so well. Hi, how are you? Hi, guys, how are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm acquainted with my guy Casper here. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy, he's so cool. And when he's, he's out of so shit, he's just so white and so beautiful, you know? Yeah. Tell you what, guys, I had an absolute pleasure hanging out. Of course, I've hung out with you guys before, yeah. but getting to know you guys has been amazing. I've watched them. I can't uh, thank them enough for all their hard work they're doing, trying to inspire people to love animals. I'm going to put the link in the description to each and every one of their channels. Please do me a favor, go over there, show them some love, subscribe, tell them Brian sent you. Uh, and for now, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Thank yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and just a little wrap up before I head over to the Reptarium and kind of spend the evening with all the people that are going to come and hang out because you know I love doing that. I wanted to tell you that I really was happy that all the pet tubers came to visit me. I know we have like different styles and certainly I don't fit into the pet tube category from the standpoint that you know I've been a business for 30 years and now I have a zoo and all that other stuff but I really appreciate anyone that is trying to kind of further the awesomeness of all the animals and the pet tubers don't just do reptiles they do all kinds of different things and listen their message is really amazing they work really hard to reach people with a positive message about keeping animals so I was so happy to kind of join forces a little bit have them over welcome them into my world they were extremely gracious they were hanging out they really loved the animals and really we had a really good time so like I mentioned when they first showed up you know I follow a lot of them on social media so it was really nice to kind of finally get a chance to meet them and just kind of get that personal feel with them so we had a really good time so regardless I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the Reptarium and enjoy this evening got Daisy out <laughs> a little photo opportunity you know where else can you go to take a picture with a big old snake they asked it and we decided yeah sure why not Daisy is in a really good mood today unlike the other day such a beauty what do you think I think she's nervous, but she wants the middle. Okay. Okay, so we have Daisy out, and uh, you actually held Helen, and you were like, all right, that's probably a big enough snake, and now you're saying you want to hold Daisy. Yeah. Are you kidding me? All right, jump in here, jump in here, jump in. Go ahead. I'm going to go around here and take a picture. She's heavy. She's heavy, huh? Look at that. <laughs> I love I love the Reptarium. It's it's every day is like the best day ever. Taking a little break from the Reptarium because I had a few animals over here at BHB that I was thinking about that I haven't seen in a little while. And this is one of them here. This is actually a little jungle jag carpet python. Look at this cute little monkey right here. It's just so amazing. And the jungle will make this animal get even brighter and brighter and more yellow as it gets older. That thing is turning out gorgeous. And the other animals I was really thinking about that I haven't seen in a few weeks are these bull snakes. Remember we got a handful of bull snakes and I wanted to raise some up? Well, this is one of the ones that we ended up keeping as a future breeder. I absolutely adore all of the bull snakes and pitcher wolfers type stuff. They're a really big colubrid snake. I mean, this animal one day is going to be seven, sometimes even eight foot in length and pretty wide bodied as well. But they make unbelievably placid pets. They do really good and they hatch absolutely enormous. I remember the first time that we produced bull snakes and the eggs were like this big. I was like, what from a colubrid? I mean, it's almost like a ball python sized baby, but in a little snake. And these guys are absolutely ridiculous. And having an absolutely fun night here at the Reptarium. But I have to stop because look at Lucy right here. I absolutely love it. And the fact is, is although I've seen her draped on this ledge a couple times, I've never actually seen her completely on this ledge. And it was kind of a bummer to me because when we designed this cage, specifically when we put that ledge on there, I thought she's going to spend a lot of time on that ledge. So we wanted to make sure that ledge was really good. We put rocks building it up so it could certainly support her and everything like that. And then she never went up there. And today she finally is up here. How awesome is that? I hope that now that she's kind of found that spot, she spends more time here because it's a nice warm spot too. So like I've mentioned before, this is the hottest spot in the cage at almost 100 degrees, but it's about upper 80s right there, which is really good for them from a hot spot standpoint. So super cool to see Lucy up here. And of course, here's Lori doing what Lori does, putting 
leopard geckos <laughs> on the site. I mean, how long does it take to put leopard geckos on the site? It, it takes a year. A by year? The time, yeah, by the time I'm done, new babies are hatching. Like, it never <laughs> Oh my gosh. I literally think that Lori puts like 30 hours a week just putting up leopard geckos oh on the site. Oh my God, it is ridiculous. And the crazy thing is, is realistically, you have what, maybe about 20% of the leopard geckos we have on the site, or is it more than that? <sighs> No, it's probably that. Yeah, the 2018. I've got most of the 2017s up, but I've only got a little bit of the 2018. <laughs> so what happens is that now we're basically selling what would be really ready to breed 2017 yeah. animals, and then the 2018s that are now just a few months old, they haven't even started making onto the site, and there are some crazy cool yes. animals in there. So there are. So maybe work a little harder. Oh my God, I am so gonna smack you. <laughs> Probably the highlight of my night tonight here at the Reptarium was this gentleman right here. You came in, you were terrified of snakes and spiders, and the first thing you did was hold a spider. Yeah. And you did, a, you were you were definitely shaking, freaking a little bit, yeah. but you were doing good. But then we actually got you to hold a pastel highball python. You yeah. did great with that. And then I walk around the corner, and what were you holding? Uh, an anaconda, your day. <laughs> so he literally went from being afraid to holding a ball python, holding an anaconda, and holding a spider. You're a trooper. I, I tell you, what, you did. This guy's awesome. I'm so glad. And this is what I love about the reptarian. And now my man here comes to me and says, I'd like to hold a big snake, please. He wants to hold a big snake now. Man, I, this is... Yes, and I'm going to say yes. We're going to go get a big snake. I'll get Sunrise out for you, all right? Awesome. And here we go. That way. All right. There you go. Holy mackerel. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! so heavy. Oh. <laughs> you okay, sweetheart? <laughs> that is awesome. Is that awesome, Bruce? Or yeah, oh, my God. I, I wasn't best. sure that he was going to even hold a snake when he came in. And here he is. This is awesome. He was holding the anaconda out like this, and he looked so nervous. And then, like, ten minutes later, we put we put this on him, and he's just like, bam, no problem. That's so awesome. That's awesome. I think Noah started saying that, you know, here at the Reptarium, we make dreams happen. <laughs> I like that thing. I like it a lot. And there it is, guys. Another day in the books. And it was really an amazing day. Had a good time here with the reptiles. Got a chance to bring all the pet to in and kind of show them my passion and love and hopefully really have a relationship in the future just continuing to try to work together to try to educate people about amazing animals and in particular how awesome reptiles are but with that said I think I will go ahead and end the vlog I'm gonna to be totally honest with you guys I don't think I did a great job of vlogging today I didn't think I captured what I really wanted to capture and I do apologize for that I'll do better tomorrow I promise you that as for now I wish you guys an absolutely amazing day evening whenever you happen to be watching as always your support means the world to me and i really truly love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here can you smash that like button turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video make a comment down below and tell me something amazing about your beautiful faces be kind to someone and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow